Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on this performance testing with new load playlist. Now we have already seen how to create our first test case in new load. Now the next step is to export this test case into the new load web where we are going to execute this test case. Now if I look at my new load web, I don't see uh, the particular test case which I had created. So these are all the demo test cases which have been already provided by Trascentis whenever you log into your new load account for the first time. Now if you go back to the new load controller, this is the first test case which is the demo one user path and this is what uh, we need to export into the new load web so that we can uh, go ahead and execute it on the new load web. Now the easy way to export uh, the user path or the test case into new load web is to go to file and there is an option export project to new load web. Now if I select this particular option, uh, you will get an error that there is no population to launch. Okay, so this is the issue which will come up and that is expected because we need to first create a population and then we can export this particular test case. So what is a population? Okay, now uh, if you go into the user paths tab, uh, the next tab you will see is the populations tab. Okay, and now if I click on this populations, it will uh, give this wizard, population wizard, where you can create a population. Now, a population uh, is a group of user paths. Okay, so it's a group of different virtual user types. And this population, uh, it contains all the user paths which you have created, or you can add different user paths to a particular population and then it can be configured to test your application under different uh, business and network scenarios okay so for example uh, if you have got a web application where you have got different functionality like you have got the login functionality then you have got the add to cart functionality or you have got the payment functionality so you want to have different uh, users browsing these different functionalities so you can assign uh, certain virtual users like 50% of the users into uh, the cart option or 30% uh, to the payment uh, screens and then 20% to the login screens. So you can test different parts of your application with different uh, percentage of users, right? And this you can configure in the population. Besides that, uh, you can also configure different network constraints uh, under which you can uh, test your application so that uh, you can simulate those uh, real-time conditions, okay? So here uh, we can create a population, okay? Uh, you can create it in three different ways. Uh, you can create with all defined user paths. You can create with a single user path. You can select that particular user path here, okay? So we have just got one user path, so that will be selected. And then uh, it will also give you an op option to do not create any population. Okay, so whenever you create uh, on the populations tab, this wizard will come up. And then if I click on OK, uh, then this population will be created. You can always give it a description. Okay, so that you can uh, identify which population would be used for which scenarios. Now, one particular test scenario can have multiple populations. Okay, so it can have more than one population so that you can run a test with different uh, user behaviors. Now, what does this population contain? Okay, so the first thing which it contains is obviously the user path. As you can see here, I can add more user paths or I can um, remove the user path. Okay, and then um, it has got this percentage and this percentage you can change. Uh, this is nothing but your user groups, okay? So I can reduce it using this uh, slide and this percentage and that will be reflected uh, under the percentage, okay? Then the browser. So we can select uh, the browser right from here. Uh, either it could be the recorded one or you can select any of these browsers as uh, displayed here, okay? And then you can also select um, which type of parameters you want to use, HTTP slash two, or you want to handle the cookies, parallel connections. Uh, you can also enable the encoding, okay? 
So these are uh, the different browser profiles which you can select from here. And then uh, the handle cache, uh, it is as recorded, but you can also change it. You can uh, change it to a new user or a returning user. Okay, or you can just keep it as recorded. So um, if we select the as recorded option, then it will reuse the configuration which we have done during the recording. If we select the new user option, then it will start the virtual users with a empty cache. And if we select the returning user, then the virtual user cache is always up to date, which means the application does not return any response which contains information which was already cached. Uh, then there is the van uh, emulation. Uh, we can select this right from here. As you can see, there are different types of uh, broadband internet speeds which can be selected. Uh, also, the mobile options, the LAN options, the wireless. Okay. Uh, so, according to that, uh, the signal strength uh, would be selected. Then the download, uh, the download latency upload upload latency so all of this are basically your network related configurations which you can choose to basically emulate a real life scenario so you can change all of these different options or you can choose one of these network options if you are particularly uh, trying to emulate those network related scenarios okay so these are all the configurations uh, which are in terms of parameters of a population okay and this is how we can create a particular population now as i said uh, you can have multiple user paths in a particular population and then a scenario could have a different number of populations which, which will have different configurations now uh, once you do that once you have created a population now uh, you can go ahead and export your test case into new load web so again we will go to file and we will select this export project to new load web and once you do that the export project wizard will come up and here it will ask you to, to choose the destination so you can export it to a particular file like this okay um, and then there is an also an option to export and send to new load web directly okay so that can also be done and that's what we are going to select okay so i'm going to select the workspace here and then in the test uh, either we can select any existing test or we can create our own test okay so i'm going to uh, name this demo underscore test and then we are also going to select this particular option which is open the test in browser after it is uploaded and click on next and then um, the new load controller which start exporting this particular test into the new load web okay once it is completed we will click on finish and now you will see automatically a browser page will open with the new load web now under tests we will see that the demo underscore test has been created and then the next steps are to configure this and then we can execute this test but this is how uh, you export your test which you have created in new load controller to new load web and here you can see in the overview that uh, we haven't given it a description but you can see this is the demo test case okay so this is how uh, you can create a certain population which contains your user paths and then uh, each scenario which you create can have multiple populations once you create the population, then you can go ahead and export your test to new load web where you can configure it and then you can execute it. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.